Hey guys, Dusty Baker at Cross Trimmers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Time to let some bison go. Gotta try to get the Big Joe herd to come up. And I had a feeling that her and the 32 cow would probably get into it. All right, Big Joe, got you some new ladies. How many eggs do you have? Can you count them? Five. Okay, here look. Put them in your basket. Okay, look, there's little pockets on the sides. See? That's, that's just... Here look, look babe. You gotta put them in the little pockets. See? <laughs> there you go. Good job, babe. Uh. That's all of them. Right here, babe. Get these. She's watching for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nope. Put it in a different pocket. Put it in this one right here. All right, so if you watch my previous video, I brought three cows over from the Dunbar herd. Bellstar has been a little stressed out during this situation. It's usually my, probably out of all of my bison, she's the one that gets worked up the most. Um, and then that typically only happens whenever we work them. So uh, yeah, she, uh, she is stressed out because she's in a pen. Uh, you know, they're kind of secluded. That's part of it with these animals uh, when you pin them up. And the other two have been pretty chill, but um, obviously I've stepped in here and she's a little worked up now. But what I'm gonna do is gotta try to get the Big Joe herd to come up. They're down in pasture three, four. See if I can get their attention to come up. And they've been able to, the Big Joe herd has been able to come up here in this area right here, has been able to touch noses and sniff around. And I came over here yesterday and Big Joe was the only one up here hanging out with these three ladies. So he's been with them before, but uh, it's time to reunite over after over a year. Uh, they're gonna be reunited with Big Joe and join that herd. So let's um, I'm gonna hop in the HEV, go find him, try to get him to come up here and then let these cows out. So, uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because instead of just letting them out and letting them take off in a new pasture they've never been before, um, I want them to uh, kind of, I want to watch a mix and mingle with uh, the Big Joe herd. Let's hop in the ATV. You ready, Jackie? Yearlings are over here in pasture at two. Uh, I see a cow over here in pasture four where the Big Joe herd is. Uh, they typically just will see my ATV and they should uh, come out here and uh, find us and then we'll get them up here to the front. Woo! Come on! Let's go, Big Joe! Look at him, he's dragging around in the back. Come on, big fella. Here he comes, rumbling and stumbling. All right, they're coming through. All right, got their attention. Big Joe's up here. Got all of them. We're gonna head up to the corral and let these three mamas out.
All right, Big Joe, got you some new ladies. Betty, are you excited? Go ahead, Bill. All these cows are not entertained. They're not too worried about it. So first thing that happened is Big Joe started chasing peaches around and uh, Kit started following. I think Kit misses Big Joe. Bell Star, she just went and did her own thing. The one that was stressing out a little. She's out here uh, grazing a little bit, eating some hay. And it uh, looks like Big Joe and uh, Peaches are gonna do a little walking around and uh, sniffing, um, mostly Big Joe sniffing at her, so. They'll uh, kind of figure out their system and which will be great, I'll keep an eye on them. Those three cows that I brought over, they should uh, kind of start to acclimate and kind of uh, figure out their pecking order in this a new herd now. So what that means is Big Joe now has uh, 11 breeding females and himself so you got a big joe herd that just increased to 12 now which is still not a whole lot but uh, big joe's got some more females now well that was nice to get done and exciting also here at the ponderosa um i'm gonna get some hay to the yearlings so i'm gonna hop in the skids here and get some hay to those guys Hey guys, all right, well, we're back. It's been two days. I've given this herd some space and uh, some some time to get along. And uh, my first encounter, I came out here and I doing some doing some filming and I watched uh, the 32 cow, which is the original boss cow of the Texas mamas that are here with uh, Big Joe and uh, Kit, who is the was the boss cow at where she was at with the Dunbar herd. I saw her and the 32 cow get into it. And uh, Kit is not a very tall cow um, when you first look at her. Uh, she's a she's a very healthy, um, she's, she has some pounds on her. Uh, she's, a, she's a great cow and throws really good calves. But she packs a punch. And I had a feeling that her and the 32 cow would probably get into it. And so I'm not surprised, but I saw some, it was the first time I actually saw some good, uh, uh, you know, a little, a little cat fight basically of uh two females getting after it and that's the first time i've seen it here but i had a feeling that them two may tussle a little bit and compete uh to see who the new uh head cow is or the new uh, queen of the uh big joe herd is
So a little competition I, I figured would go on, but that's part of it in this system that these animals do and that's okay. So fun to watch it and kind of see who uh, prevails of the queen bee maybe of the big Joe herd. It's pretty fun. They were out here on the hill when I first pulled up and it was really pretty to see the herd grow and you just add three and that's not very many, but you could tell a big difference whenever I pulled out here and see Man, that's starting to look like a real herd. So, uh, but now we've got 12 in this herd and we still have 22 with uh, the Haas herd. And uh, we're still waiting on those results, by the way. Woods, Plains test on uh, some of them yearlings. So um, anyways, fun little competition to see the females go at it a little bit, but uh, gave them some cubes, came and check on them and they're doing good. Hey y'all, something I want to mention to you is uh, we're doing a two for one deal, mix and match on our website at crosstimberspison.com. You can go on our website, we're doing a two for one deal. And don't forget to use the coupon code before you check out. It's New Year 2023. Excited for the future for this, a big Joe herd, and I'm excited to uh, keep doing what we're doing. So I'll keep an eye on the big Joe herd and make sure that the pecking order is uh, you know going well even though I have no control over that whatsoever but I'll make sure that they're all doing good and getting along semi getting along but they'll get it figured out soon enough so thank you guys for watching us today keep ranching Charlie I don't think you can reach that water I saw you trying Charlie, I got water for you in the barn, hun. You don't have to do that. But if you fall in, you're going for a swim.